And welcome back, guys, to Dying Light 2, Staying Human. So this gameplay here we're going to be doing on easy mode, and we're going to be doing everything the Peacekeeper wants. So, and then on the next playthrough, we'll do everything the Bazaar wants, and then we'll try to get the uh, Renegades ending. Uh, I just want to see if it does different endings. Um, I yeah, just want to try different options, seeing that there's supposedly different storylines or story endings, so, you know... I figured try something different. Anyways, right, so make sure you hit that like button, make sure you support button. I greatly appreciate everyone's support with the channel and everyone that's been supporting me on VR chat, no matter how much crap I've gone through. Thank you guys for your support. Anyways, right, so let's get into it. game used to be more fun. <coughs> you used to be younger. And uh, dumber. What matters is, you still just, because a slow pilgrim yeah, is a, a dead, dead pilgrim. pilgrim. Get up here. I want to Man, you're still strong. Thanks. It's good to see you, Spike. I mean, how long has it been? Far too long. But don't get all mushy on me now. Come, I want to show you something. Where are we going? You'll see. It's incredible. What's incredible? Most pilgrims don't last two, three years on the road. But you've been kicking around for what? Four years now? And you're still alive. So are you. I know. But I'm fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right, right. Seriously. I wish I had as much energy as you. Got a new lead on Jane? Nah, trail went cold after New Paris. Which route did you take? Through Baines or Gary? Eh, uh, Baines. What a shithole. Some five rickety huts left and a ramshackle fence. Look at that. A beehive full of honey. Can't let an opportunity like this go to waste. Uh, no way. Oh, look around. If we're lucky, there's chamomile growing here, too. Yeah, this'll do. You remember that old herbalist we helped escort to her village? Oh, yeah, the one that had that saying, uh... Remember, chamomile and honey are gifts that keep giving. Combine them and lucky you, you just might go on living.
Come on, we're almost there. This is it. Come on. Wow. <laughs> Somebody had a nice crib. Damn it, lock. I'll try to get through here. You check the other side. Anything we could use? Yeah, sure. Empty. Yeah. No, nothing here. No, nothing in here. Party. Uh, but by then the GRE would have long since lost control of the virus. saying. If you're starting to worry about someone, it means it's time to go. tasted back then. And that's what they... Who do you voodoo? Hmm. Sounds familiar. to celebrate the end of the world. Uh, they died on their own terms. Let's hope we get that lucky too. <sighs> I'll see what's upstairs. You check out the garden, okay? Okay. each other.
Dearest Mary, I'm sorry I ran from you. They say that once the virus makes you turn, you're gone forever. That can't be true. I know you're still in there, underneath all that pain and disease. I'm coming to join you. No more running. God. Aiden, come here. Check this out. Sit down, buddy. For you. A gift? A gift from the heavens, to be more accurate. I've just found it, by the owner's dead body. May it be of more use to you. Here. It's gone flat. <laughs> Look at you and your sophisticated palate. Drink. Who would have thought the end of the world could be so peaceful? Yeah, at least until night falls. True. I wish Crane could have seen this. Wh who? Doesn't matter. I tracked down that guy for you. Wait, what? And you're only telling me now? Huh, when I tossed you a beer, thought you'd guess right away we were celebrating. The guy's in Villador. Supposedly he knows something about Waltz. Villador. I saw him that close, huh? Hey, I got a favor to ask you. You deliver this to Gary? It's on your way. People don't like pilgrims there, but, but they pay well. <laughs> and where do people like pilgrims? Well, they're afraid of us. Everyone does their best to survive. Maybe. Boom, something needs to be transported through the hordes of infected. And suddenly, they're knocking on our doors. All right. But you owe me one. No, not just one. So, what about that guy? Well, I talked to him over the radio. He didn't tell me his name. Sounds like he's got something to hide. See that antenna on the hill? That'll help you contact the informant. He'll be listening for you at dawn on a frequency of 140.200 megahertz. Totally me to hear from you soon. What does he want in return? Didn't say. But he didn't sound like the kind of guy who does things for free. <laughs> I don't think that kind of guy exists. What? What about me? You're an old fart who likes racing me, and makes me ask around about his crazy girlfriend. Hey, hey, hey. She's not crazy. Jane's just maybe, well, a little hot-headed. And she's always getting herself into trouble. But if you could get a load of her... <laughs> Whoa, all right. Still too early in the evening for that sort of talk. Eyes? I was gonna say eyes. Beautiful. Steely. Huge. Never heard anyone get so worked up about gray eyes. Because you don't know shit about the world, let alone women. Yeah, you're probably right. I'm telling you, I'll finally find Jane. We'll set up a house. We're gonna live there. No one's gonna drive us out. And I'll stop wondering like a moron. I'll drink to that. And that Waltz, what's his deal? Is he family? No, not at all. <laughs> then why are you looking for him? Will you tell me sometime? Yeah, yeah, one day. Well, my time's up. So when will I see you again, huh? In another two years? Maybe. Take care, man. I hope you find that Waltz guy, or whoever you're looking for. And remember, 140.200 megahertz at dawn. The guy's waiting for you.
fighters. Almost there.
Oh, it's already dark. It's time to hide somewhere for the night. It won't get any better than this. Broadcast station should be here somewhere. Someone moved them. Not long ago. It's been moved. Okay, let's give it a try. This is it. The broadcast station.
nothing good will come of this. Have you brought 12346? We were supposed to take the patients back to the city. Don't worry. They'll let us go soon. Edie, I'm scared. I'm here with you. You're safe with me. I know. Do what I tell you. separate us, this is how we'll always find each other. Time to contact the guy Spike was talking about. This is Aiden. I'm on frequency 140.200 megahertz. Hello? Aiden? Yes. I was supposed to get in touch with you. I thought you'd change your mind. Why are you looking for Waltz, Pilgrim? To find someone else. Her name is Mia. Fifteen years ago, we were in a hospital together and... I know who you're looking for, Aiden. You want to know why Waltz was doing those experiments on all of you. Why you are stronger, more durable than others. Now, I just want to find Mia. I've been looking for her since I left the survivor's camp. Can you help me or not? Maybe I can. Let's meet, Pilgrim. Where and when? Entrance to the Metro Tunnel by the bay. You can get inside the tunnels through an open GRE hatch. I'll meet you there. I take it you're not doing this for free. I have to leave the city, but I won't make it on my own outside. Take me to New Paris, and we're even. Along the way, I'll tell you everything I know. Over and out. Wait! I have to at least know if she's alive. She's alive. I'm going to the rendezvous. I'll see you later, Aiden.
Hello? It's Aiden. Can you hear me now? Loud and clear. That means you must be close. I swam across the lake. So, you've almost reached the tunnels. There's an entrance. The only one the GRE left when they sealed off the city. I'm coming from the other side. Hurry up. What's wrong? Hurry. Alrighty guys, this looks like a good place to stop. Make sure you hit that like button, make sure sorry you guys hit that support button. Uh, really enjoying this next gameplay. Also, thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys again soon.